Florida's Democratic Party is demanding an investigation into reports of possible voter registration irregularities after some people claim they were duped into changing their party affiliation. The party's chair sent a letter to Florida's Secretary of State expressing concern over reports that senior citizens in a Miami-Dade public housing complex unknowingly had their party changed after updating their voter registration with people who ended up working on behalf of the Florida Republican Party. The controversy is highlighting these comments from Florida Governor Ron DeSantis back in November. Today, for the first time in the history of Florida, we've now overtaken Democrats. There are more registered Republicans in Florida than Democrats. 360's Randy Kay has the story. They don't say they're going to chant me to the party. 77-year-old Juan Salazar is a Democrat, or at least he used to be. In December, Salazar says someone wearing a bright red baseball cap approached him and switched his party affiliation without his consent. You were a lifelong Democrat. From 1978. And now, all of a sudden, you're a Republican. I'm a Republican. And you don't want to be a Republican. I don't want to be. He says it all happened at his housing complex in Miami, Florida. It's home to elderly, low-income residents who speak little English. He says he now believes it was a Republican who told him he needed to update his registration. But keep in mind, in Florida, once you register to vote, there is no reason to update that registration unless you want to make a change like your party affiliation. That was not the case with any of the people we spoke with. This is the old card. That's the old card. And it says right here, Democratic Party. Yeah. And the new card says Republican Party of Florida. And that's not what you want. No, I want to be Democrat. Juan isn't the only one who may have been targeted. Miami resident Ernesto Morajon told us a lady in a red hat came to his door to try and register him as a Republican, even though he's a Democrat. Now, I asked to her, are you Republican? And she told me, yes. Ernesto refused to sign the form. But he says his sister and brother-in-law, both Democrats who live elsewhere in Miami-Dade County, had their registrations changed after being fooled. It doesn't seem like a one-off kind of mistake. It is a concerted effort. Senator Annette Tadeo is the vice chair of the Ethics and Elections Committee in Florida Senate. After receiving at least a dozen calls from concerned Democratic voters, Tadeo sent this letter to Florida's Secretary of State, a Republican, requesting an investigation. About 10 minutes from where Juan lives, we found another woman who says her voter registration was changed from Democrat to Republican. She lives here. She didn't want to go on camera, but told us a woman had knocked on her door and told her that she needed to update her voter registration because it had expired. That woman's daughter sent us these pictures her mother took of the woman she says recently changed her voter registration. Look closely at her ID. It says RPOF. That stands for Republican Party of Florida. The woman's daughter says her mother signed the form, but says after that, someone checked the box Republican Party under party affiliation. And her daughter says there is no way her mother could have checked that box on her own since it's in English and her mother doesn't speak or read English. It is not legal to fill out the form for people. Yet the woman's voter registration was still changed. That's her old card on the left. It reads Democratic Party. Her new card on the right shows she's now registered with the Republican Party of Florida. All of this could have real consequences. Florida is a closed primary state. So in a primary election, you can only vote for a candidate that is aligned with the party you're registered with. It seems like they're filling out the form for them because they, not knowingly, again, lifelong Democrats, would never have checked Republican Party of Florida. It does raise some very big red flags. So Randy Kay with me now. Randy, what does the state's Republican Party have to say about this? Well, John, we reached out to the Republican Party of Florida, and the executive director told me that the party conducts voter registration in accordance with all applicable laws and regulations. Uh, she also said that they will review any report of concern and that election integrity is important and continues to be a priority for the Republican Party of Florida. But, John, I can tell you that there are hundreds of these third-party voter registration organizations throughout the state, and it is legal for them 
to reach out to voters. When it becomes a problem is if they didn't register with the state or if they are filling out these forms for the voters uh, instead of having the voters do it themselves or if they're changing party affiliation without the voters' consent, then it becomes illegal. And that's what they're investigating. But I should also note that all of the voters we spoke with have already reached out to the Board of Elections. They're asking that their party affiliation be changed back to the Democratic Party. They are eagerly awaiting their new voter registration cards, hoping they'll come in the mail real soon. They haven't received them yet, but they're looking forward to becoming a member of the Democratic <laughs> Party here in Florida once again, John. Quite a story. Thanks so much, Randy Kay. So Virginia.